Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I wanted to do a quick update again on, I say this a lot, but I'm updating a lot of things. So a couple of you know that I started making these harnesses to do plug and play for the new Holly things. The new Holly harness has what's called a power tap connector, and that's what this plugs into. And the Holly out of the box does not have provisions for alternator control or flex fuel or both. So I engineered a nice neat harness and I, if a couple of you have been following along for a long time, have seen this grow in 10 revisions probably to what it is now. And this is another update. So these are the three flavors. So this one is flex fuel only. So if you have your alternator working and you just want to do a plug and play flex installation, this is 75 bucks. It's approximately six feet or like average adult male's arm span, I like to say. So if you hold both of these ends, it's approximately like your whole arm span, which is in 99% of cases, more than enough. If you have the flex sensor in the back of your car, uh, that's going to be more difficult. And in a lot of instances we have learned you should just put the flex sensor up front because your return can cavitate and it can mess with your signal. So anyway, we'll go over them quick. They look real nice. I just put 10 of each in the store, 10 of the three different flavors. So this one is flex only, alternator only, and this is a combination harness that does flex and alternator together. So. No one has really asked. Uh, one guy I saw was confused on maybe the Terminator forum. He's like, what exactly does uh, this get plugged into? So this says Holly Flex Input. So this gets plugged into the Holly Power Tap. That gets plugged into the Flex Fuel Sensor. So he's like, uh, does this go on an input or an output? Well, it goes into one of the inputs on the Holly Input Sensor. It has four IO, so there's four inputs and four outputs. So there are white wires, which are four inputs, and gray wires, which are four outputs, and they all have different color stripes. So it doesn't really matter what you put this on because you assign it in the hardware, uh, the software. So once you're in the Holly software, so if you say if you crimp this onto a white wire with a blue stripe, I think that's input number one, so then you would assign your flex input and build all that stuff out for input number one. It's if you crimp it incorrectly, it's very easy in the software to just change input one, two, three, four. Uh, you know, no big deal. You can just do that. You don't have to cut and recrimp anything. And then this is alternator only. And then again, this is the combination that does both off of the one Holly power tap. So just wanted to show all of those off. There is, as of right now, 10 of each of these in the store. I just posted up links, so some of them have sold already. Uh, once a week I add approximately the same amount. The 10 of each seems to be doing pretty good for each week. Everybody seems to be getting what they want. Uh, not that long ago, I was only selling these and people were saying, I kinda only want flex or I kinda only want alternator. So I started doing that and they are selling well enough that I make all three now, so. That's my quick update. I'm going to upload this video. I can put a link below. You guys can see if you can catch one. Other than that, usually by the weekend, I put them in stock. Saturday, Friday, something like that. So enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really happy with how this uh, keeps getting better and how it's turning out. And all of the positive feedback is incredible. I install these on a lot of friends and quote unquote customer cars, like someone will, I'll set up a dyno appointment with someone, they already have this plugged in and working. It's, it's really cool to see this product working out so good and being so easy to plug into the Holly stuff. So that's it. Thanks.